My friend Ethos has the crustiest, dustiest PC I've ever seen. So today I'm gonna build him a brand new $5,000 custom gaming PC that's so nice, he's gonna have no choice but to keep it off the floor and cherish it. He has all the parts for an insanely OP gaming PC and had originally just asked me to put it together for him, but I know he's a diehard Yoru main and I really wanna push out of my comfort zone of basic white builds to really create something custom for him out of these parts. Back soon. If you can't tell, these are not my hands, but I was actually teaching my brother how to build a PC. The motherboard we're using is the MSI MEG Z790 Ace Max, an eATX board that is going to be able to handle overclocking and super fast memory speeds. We're pairing this with the Intel Core i9 14900K CPU and 32 gigabytes of Kingston DDR5 7200 megahertz memory. I love that this motherboard has a toolless M.2 heatsink because it's super convenient, but it's probably a feature you'd only notice the benefits from if you build a lot of PCs. Before we continue with the build, it's time to mod the case. Ethos has this MSI Prospect 700R case with an LCD screen on the front, which I think will be perfect for this. I want to paint it to match the Yoru theme, and then he also has a favorite wallpaper from Wallpaper Engine that I'm going to have printed onto the back. Before painting the panels, I'm going to tape off the glass and sand down the parts I want to paint so the paint can stick better. Side note, but after doing this, I actually realized that I could have unscrewed the panels I wanted to paint off of the glass part. So if you're using this case, definitely just take it fully apart because it'll be so much easier and you don't have to worry about getting paint on the glass. If you're spray painting parts, make sure you do everything in a well-ventilated area outside and use a respirator so you aren't huffing fumes. I'll have mine linked down below, but you can use any from like Home Depot or wherever. The paint I'm using is from paintscratch.com, which is actually for cars, but I found that auto-grade paint dries way faster and is way more durable than anything I've ever used. You'll need to get a base coat, the color you want, and a top coat to seal everything in. The original color I bought ended up being way too dark so I had to go and reorder the color that actually matches the Yoru theme, which ended up being this Honda New Sporty Blue Metallic color. This painting process literally took me an entire afternoon and you have to wait about 10 minutes between each coat and wet sand for best results. Make sure you find a safe place to put all the panels aside for a couple days. It dries to the touch within an hour, but to be safe, I always let it cure fully before reassembling because I've had some bad experiences with fingerprints in the past. While we wait for that to dry, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the build. Before putting the motherboard into the case, make sure you install the AIO bracket onto the back. This motherboard is EATX, which is bigger than a normal ATX motherboard, so definitely double check your case compatibility because you might need to get a bigger case or install some kind of like panel to account for the wider motherboard. I created some custom cables to go with this from Cable Mod, which plug directly into the power supply so you don't have to deal with miles and miles of cable extensions to manage. They honestly look so clean and elevate the look of any themed build. It's pretty fun just using their configurator just to see how your color combinations will look. I am a bit sad because the CPU connectors on the motherboard are on the right side of the board instead of where it normally is on the top left, and I could not get the cables to lay properly with the AIO installed on the top. The GPU I'm using is the MSI Ventus 4080. I tried to find the 4090, but it was literally out of stock everywhere. I also ordered a custom GPU backplate from V1 Tech using some assets from Valorant that I upscaled. It has an RGB strip on the back that is going to look super sick with the Yoru theme. Before you stick this onto the GPU though, make sure there's enough clearance with the motherboard heat sinks because the actual backplate itself is a little bit thick. At this point, all the case panels have cured for a couple days and I finally picked up the back panel from the UV printing shop, but we are not done yet. I wanted to include some more custom Yoru elements to the PC, so I 3D printed his mask. I don't have a resin printer, so the print has a bunch of lines on it, so I'm using Bondo to fill and sand those out before painting the mask with the same paint I used for the case. It was low-key super tedious to tape off the teeth and other details, so I think in the future I need to invest in like an airbrush or some better paintbrushes for future projects. Here is the finished mask. It slots super nicely between the two panels in the front. I also added an 8.8 inch display at the bottom of the case to hide the PSU shroud. I'll link the one that I used down below, but they actually have a newer version that also comes in white. The touchscreen LCD on the MSI Prospect case also lets you change all the RGBs and different settings like fan speeds for the build, which is super cool. You can also upload custom wallpapers for it, so I uploaded a custom Yoru screensaver to match the theme. Here's what the final build looks like and his reaction when I delivered the PC. Freaking cool, oh my god. I had a blast building this PC and I'm really happy with how it turned out, but what do you guys think? Should I do more themed PC builds in the future? Let me know what you guys think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more PC building and tech content.